Well, of course, the biggest talking point to emerge from all of this was uh, the pulling down incident and Joe Brawley's fury after the match last night uh, over Sean Kavanagh and what happened. So here's what happened uh, in that last night. Well, I mean, I, you know, I, I want nothing to do with that, to be quite honest. You know, I think it's a disgrace. Why? I think it's absolutely disgraceful. Why? You know, and then, you know, Mickey Hart jumping up and down and cheering and smiling afterwards as if they've achieved something good. I'll tell you what they've achieved. They've achieved something absolutely rotten. And they're becoming a template for clubs and for counties all over the country now. Young teams going out, an under-16 match on Wednesday night. Two sweepers methodically pulling down the opposing team as they're coming up the field. This is how you do it. You get the job done. This is the new language. The, euphem the euphemism for cheating is closing the game out. That, that what, he, what Sean Kavanagh did, I cannot believe that somebody awarded him the man of the match. That was a total and absolute disgrace. That's the antithesis, hold on, of what Gaelic games are about. You're supposed to be able to look your opponent in the face. What, we, what do we teach kids? Respect for yourself, respect for your opponent. I take an under 12 team. If any of them did that, they wouldn't play for the team again. And yet, Hold on, yet this is being toted around the country. And people are saying things like, well, it's within the rules, they're only up. It's not within the rules. You're not supposed to rugby tackle someone from behind. It was a total disgrace, and I'll tell you something else about it. I mean, nobody has stood up for Tyrone more during the 2000s than I have in this studio, when they were getting all sorts of abuse from you and from you. But I'll tell you this, I'll not be standing up for that. That's an absolute disgrace. Okay. And the casual way that it's done last week, last week they dragged down the young Meath fellow when he was through from it. Drag him down. That's how you do it. Wallace only got the goal because he escaped the rugby tackle. Today, Sean Kavanagh, who is a brilliant footballer, but I tell you what, you can forget about Sean Kavanagh as far as he's a man. What he did there tonight was a total and absolute obscenity. I think Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on let me finish just, the point. Yeah, McManus yeah. gets the ball. He decides. I can break through here. I can score a goal. He shows a sense of adventure. He beats the first man. He's through. What happens? He's just dragged down to the ground. And I'll tell you what, the black card's only the start of an urgent, an absolutely urgent process that's required. There what is I no... Have, hold on. There is no, no, no sport. No, there is no to, sport. I have to pick you no, up no, on No, no, I'll tell you something. There is no sport, no other sport apart from Gaelic Games, where that is permitted. It's an absolute that's disgrace. I tell you, I, 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 I want nothing to do with that. I, I have to bring it back here. All right, well, there was incredible reaction to that, obviously, on Twitter and text to us. Desi, you didn't disagree with the point Joe made, but how yeah. he made it. Yeah, in fairness, I know Sean Cavan. I've played him with him on the Compromise Rules teams. And as a man, Sean Cavan is a gentleman. Um, and he's a great fella, a great footballer. But I think th the problem really Joe is having with him is that th one of the best footballers in the country at the minute and an example to everybody is pulling down someone like that. But that's what's going on all over the country. It's going on in all county games and in club games around the country. And it's the rule, it's the problem. It happened in a league game where I was playing recently, where I went to the referee and the lad got pulled down. And the referee goes, look, it's a professional foul, it's a yellow card, they're the rules. And you've okay. got to live with would it. You, would you do it? Would you pull someone Definitely, down? Definitely, without a shadow of a doubt. Would you, Kevin, want your well, man to pull someone down? Uh, absolutely. And uh, even if you had to take a red card, if it was near the end in your performance. Mm -hmm. Because the rules don't, are, the sanction is not savage enough. Okay. Okay, and Kieran, you would. It does. I said it last week. Yeah. You can't be hypocritical. Right. Of course, you would. As a player or as a manager, you would if okay. it means winning the game. So, so it is. It is accepted in the, in the culture of the game. It is accepted almost. It's, it's, but isn't it? Isn't it a problem? But, but there isn't a red card. It's I mean, accepted. It's a joke. Yeah, it's accepted. Joe is right. It's accepted, but it's not. It's 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 not right. It's not in the spirit of the game. Joe was probably right in that, and they could mm. see everyone in Crow Park got seriously frustrated I know, he, he, when it he, happened. He, he Everybody, is right, it's not yeah, probably, he is, he's absolutely yeah, it's right. It's not in the spirit of the game. But like, let's go back to the Battle of Oma when we all got off in technicalities. That wasn't, that wasn't in the spirit of the game. We got off because the real book let us get off, because mm. it was within the compounds of the real book. And, and that's where we have to make the changes, but, and that's where the changes are coming, but, and they are coming. Yeah, they are coming, but can I just say, the black card is coming in, and Eugene yeah. McGee and... Tony Scully, these lads who brought in, they had to water it down. They had to say, yeah. well, OK, yeah. you can put a substitute on for the fella. But the GA accepts yeah. this stuff and but doesn't stamp down on it. The, 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 the lobby is so strong. Uh, and wasn't it interesting that uh, the, the, the managers that came out against it uh, at, at that time, you know, uh, were recent champions? And of course, they'd, they'd vote for the status quo because the rules suit the style of play, whether that's an extra physicality or whatever way you want to call it. But in fairness, to Eugene McGee and his committee. They tried to get the ultimate sanction and, yeah. and make it, you know, no replacement. But at least they got the black card. It can't come quick enough. The GA and fairness have taken action, but it just can't come yeah, but, until but the 1st of January. That's am, the problem. Am I not right that they had to water it down because they wouldn't have got but it through GA, with a straight red card? The GA moves very slowly, there, as we know that. And if, if, there's, any, if there's anything 
in terms of what happened yesterday, if the people that go to Congress can mm. see if okay. real changes are brought, and they're brought for the right reasons, then they have to have a more open mind to approach to change. That's and it, and as this that. might be a changing... Oh, uh, well, uh, I, th I think so. There has okay. the, the, the use of professional fell has, to come, into, oh, has okay. to come into the yeah. equation. See, Joe Bradley does do good work.